This is Adrian Manns. I'd like to invite the viewers of Stocks and Sectors on the Radar to join me live at the International Traders Expo in my hometown, Los Angeles, California, on June 5th, 2009. I'll be providing a one-hour workshop on my intraday trading style starting at 5.30 p.m. If you can't attend in person, registering for the Expo will give you free access online to both the live and recorded event. To join me, go to the TraderInsight.com homepage and register by clicking on the Traders Expo advertisement. This event's a great place to learn about my style of trading, and best of all, it's sponsored by the Expo and TraderInsight.com, so it's totally free. I'll see you at the Expo. From Los Angeles, TraderInsight.com presents Dr. Adrian Manns in the war room and at the helm with today's look at stocks and sectors on the radar. For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and this is Stocks and Sectors on the Radar for Friday, May 15, 2009. On Thursday, Dow Jones Industrials up 46.5 to close at 83.31.32. We had 2,173 stocks advance, 849 decline, and NYSE total volume at 1.53 billion shares. So we had an inside day on the indices, nice little bounce move. Uh, Small, but still got up into yesterday. Losses undid some of that. Same thing happened in the S&P 500. We had a gain of 9.15 to close at 8.9307. NASDAQ 100, same story, up 19.84 to close at 13.59.67. And the NASDAQ comp up 25.02 at 16.89.21. We had some good trades from last night's stocks and sectors on the radar. Let's have a look at those and then take a look at what's on deck for Friday. FPL Group Incorporated, ticker symbol FPL. This was a fastball, expansion of range, expansion of volume. Intraday five-minute chart, we see the first time it triggered was right in the first five minutes of trading. Got us down to 50% to the profit target and slightly beyond. Reverse stopped us back out flat again. Traveled up all the way to 55.90. Came back in, made another move to the downside. Consolidated in a range right around the entry level and then traveled down to our profit target and beyond. McGraw Hill Companies Incorporated, ticker symbol MHP. This one moved lower on the open, gapped down, then traveled higher throughout the session. No entry for MHP. Vulcan Materials Company, ticker symbol VMC. This is another fastball expansion of range and expansion of volume. Intraday five minute again. Here we see in the 20 minute bar into the session triggers our entry. By the time the 25 minute bar is over, we've already hit the profit target and gone beyond. Nice little move, all inside of a 10-minute time frame. Vulcan Materials behaved exactly the way we expected it to. About an hour later, had another entry opportunity, another trip to the profit target, and then an extension all the way down to the $41.25 mark. Vulcan really made a nice tradable move over the course of the session. And finally, WellPoint Incorporated, this one triggered us in midway into the session only to get 50% of the profit target turnaround and stop us out flat on the trade. So just a flat exit on this one, nice goose egg on the trade. Still a setup that was worth watching, still a setup that could have done uh, very, very well if the sector would have moved higher and pulled WellPoint along with it. Now let's look at three stocks I've got on the radar for Friday. First one on the radar, Meredith Corp. They're in media, they're a publisher, consumer discretionary, Ticker symbol MDP, this is a backdoor slider, short side setup. Entry for me is gonna be around $25.35 per share with an initial profit target at $25.05. Next we've got NRG Energy Incorporated, ticker symbol NRG. Independent power producer, this is a utility. It's a switch hitter, long side setup. I've got an entry price at $20.45 with an initial profit target. Nice tight scalp kind of a move, $20.75. And finally, Penn Virginia Corporation. This is an energy, oil and gas, consumable fuels, ticker symbol PVA. This is a 3-2 pitch, long side setup. Trade above $20.44 a share will have me looking for a long side entry opportunity on strength in the broader markets with an initial profit target, $20.73. If you've got any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. Use protective stops on every trade and have a great trading day on Friday.